Hello, my name is Robin Brewer, and in this video, I will share work done with my colleague Sarita Shonebeck and students Carrie Lee and Hari Priya Suryadevara on challenging older adults' passive social media use. A PDF of this paper can be found at bit.ly slash OA browsing. Older adults are typically framed as being disinterested in technology and therefore not engaging in online communities or as lurkers, viewing content but not contributing content. But what if we got the story about lurking and online engagement wrong? Typical models of online engagement frame active engagement as a user who clicks a lot, meaning that they're highly attentive and therefore more engaged, where someone who doesn't click a lot is not attentive and therefore unengaged or a passive user. But what about the person who clicks like on everything just because they can, or the person who doesn't click but is hyper attentive? Reports have suggested that more people are starting to modify their behavior on social media from sharing fewer updates to deleting their accounts altogether. Yet, people are spending more time online than ever before, suggesting that we are shifting to becoming listeners rather than contributors. Understanding the value of listening or viewing content online has been studied in prior work. Scholars like Judd Anton, Cloyd Cheshire, and Kate Crawford have studied the value of reading content in online communities like Wikipedia, reframing away from lurking or free writing and more towards listening and participation. So we were motivated motivated by this work and wanted to better understand the range of older adults' engagement behaviors on social media from listening or viewing content to contributing or posting content. To investigate older adults' visible and less visible forms of online engagement, we conducted an eye tracking study to ask how are older adults engaging on social media, why, and what might this tell us about their values for online engagement? Our approach to addressing these questions was drawn from a similar study that we conducted with younger and middle-aged adults published at JCMC and Social Media and Society. Because we wanted to understand visible forms of engagement, such as when someone clicked a post and less visible forms of engagement, such as when someone read a post but didn't comment or click, we used eye tracking with time spent viewing content as a proxy for attention. We recruited 25 older adults to browse their Facebook news feeds for a seven minute period and interviewed them afterwards to learn more about their browsing experiences within and outside of the session. Of these 25 older adults, 11 were female, 10 were between the ages of 60 and 69, 14 between 70 and 79, and one participant was over the age of 80 years old. The main takeaway from this work is that older adults navigated visible and less visible engagement behaviors as motivated by care work, providing care and preserving relationships for people in their networks. And this is work that is often rendered invisible, similar to forms of work discussed from a feminist care lens. Let's unpack this a bit more. So first is an example of clicking, in this case, commenting as a form of caregiving. In it, participant 23 described engaging on her son's Facebook posts to let others know he has a mother who loves him. Similarly, participant one described commenting on his granddaughter's posts, quote, always saying supportive things because she has been going through a rough time. Uh, while older adults may be positioned in HCI literature as people who need care, it is important to highlight these historical roles of older adults being people who traditionally provide care for their younger family members, for example, through cooking or child care or teaching new skills. So one question we pose is how might researchers recognize these roles of older adults being caregivers rather than care receivers in online spaces? Commenting was one form of click along with reactions. However, clicking was not a frequent behavior. Out of the 808 posts that participants encountered, 
They commented on less than 2% and reacted to about 9%. Nearly 90% of the posts did not receive any form of click. However, our analysis shows that posts that were not clicked were viewed longer than those that were clicked, and this was statistically significant. Specifically, posts that were not clicked were viewed for an average of 11 seconds, and posts that were clicked were viewed for an average of about four seconds. This suggests that older adults are attentive even when not clicking. We provide more details in the paper about how the post creator and who the post was shared by also affects how long participants were attentive to each post. To provide context for why not clicking was valuable, we turned to participant 20 who said, if I put an article that is controversial politically and they start back and forth, I just cut it. Or sometimes I even just delete the whole thing. I created some enemies, the election before, I'm anti-abortion and pro-life. So the time I used to put some of these and then people started crying, I lost some friends because of that. Several older people described a similar scenario in which they chose to not click on political content to preserve relationships and had had experiences where friendships ended because of political content, specifically on Facebook. Instead, people preferred to talk about more controversial content offline to avoid any conflict or to do so in more private online spaces, such as by phone or through email. We note that younger age groups had similar behaviors in our other study, but there wasn't such a strong connection to relationship maintenance being that motivating factor. Here's another example where participant eight is describing how she modified her behavior on social media, not commenting on her nephew's controversial posts so as to not harm their relationship and not unfollowing him, although she wanted to. Both behaviors of not doing something as acts of care. These examples supplement behaviors during the browsing sessions where people were attentive to content but had reasons for not engaging visibly through some type of click on the platform. With this in mind, we challenged the dichotomous active versus passive quadrant framing of online engagement and instead argue for a new framework that values viewing content as one part of engagement. This diagram reflects our argument and shows interactions that are visible to the user on the x-axis and interactions that are visible to the platform on the y-axis. And what we usually see regarding engagement from data logs and trace data is in the upper right quadrant, so reactions, comments, and posts. And what we understand about engagement from qualitative and quantitative methods beyond the behavioral data is in the bottom left quadrant, so mood or motivations. But we want to highlight that there are other browsing behaviors that are meaningful forms of engagement on the platform, like viewing content, and off the platform, like communication and other channels. Essentially, engagement is not being dichotomous, but a spectrum. We also call for researchers to understand how people may be engaged, but not click on content, as these forms of care work can shape design. We particularly consider feminist theories of care as a framework to think about visibility as feminist scholarship has emphasized how women are often ignored or rendered invisible in their environments. Similarly, older adulthood is characterized by different forms of invisibility in society and physically where their informal caregiving work is largely overlooked. In the paper, we highlight two design strategies for challenging how researchers understand this less visible care behavior on social media, one of which is allowing people to control whether people see their less visible behaviors online, underscoring the value of power and autonomy in feminist care work, particularly as viewing content can also be a sign of attention. As such, platforms could provide ways to signal or amplify, I saw that comment, without needing to make a visible reaction or switch channels. Thank you for your time and we invite you to read more in the paper.